Hey, Maths fans, uh, looking at uh, this loans question about payments. Uh, so here we go. Anya wants to take out a loan of $5,000 to buy a car. So she's going to have $5,000 uh, in her pocket. Uh, we're doing monthly repayments over three years. Interest rate 4.1% compounded monthly. Now, this is... Uh, some people will think, oh, I'll go to the compound interest form for this one. As soon as we're talking about how much is the payment, the monthly payments, as soon as we're getting into the nitty-gritty of that, we're going to need to, uh, to use the uh, GDC. Okay. So as soon as you see that, how much is the monthly payment, or there's something to do with after paying off for a year, how much do they owe, it's much easier to go to the financial maths package. Uh, and go to the compound interest part, and we're going to put in some values uh, in here. So we have uh, a three-year monthly payment. So the number of payment periods is three years times 12 months. You can put in 36 if you want, but it'll do that for you if you put it in as a calculation. Our interest rate, 4.1%. Uh, the present value in our pocket, or in Anya's pocket, is uh, 5,000. Sorry. Uh, because it's in her pocket, it's positive uh, 5,000. Uh, and then the payment is what we're going to be looking for. Uh, the future value, we want it to be all paid off, all gone. Uh, and the uh, payments per year, compounding periods per year, are both 12. Uh, so we're going to find the payment. So we click F5 for PMT. And there we see from her pocket to the bank is going 147.84. So the monthly payment, $147.84. All right, part B, calculate the amount still remaining to, repay, to be repaid after she's been making payments for one year. Um, so we're going to need to use the calculator again here. Uh, it might be tempting to just take the amount she's been uh, repaying and just multiply it by 12. But because interest is being at uh, uh, every month, as that amount changes, so does the, the amount of interest we're, we're paying. So we can't just do that simple calculation. So we've got to go back into the calculator. Um, we are saying that the payment is as it is, 147.84. So that payment stays there. We could even maybe put it in as the exact uh, amount we've said, minus 147.84. It's going from and his pocket to the bank. If it's from the pocket to the bank, make it negative. Um, we are going to find out what's the future value after we've been making these payments for 12 months. We're going to do one year of payments. So we have the payment. We started at 5,000 still. 12 monthly payments. What's my future value? That's the calculation we're looking for with this question. So let's go to that future value. Uh, and. We should get, there we go, negative 3401.09, uh, or 0 0.10, uh, if we were doing it to the nearest cent. Uh, so uh, she needs uh, to 3401.10 dollars. All right, on to part C. Find Anya's new monthly payment for the remaining two years if after that year, so after, this is going to be useful, that's going to lead into this question. So she owes this much with those two years remaining. The interest rate has changed. Now what's her new payment? So we're going to be finding payment. Let's have a look at what values we can put in here. Um, two years, so it's going to be 24 more compounding periods. Interest rate has changed up to 5.3. The present value is no longer 5,000. We're doing after we paid off that first year. So our new uh, present value is that 3401.10. 3401.10. Uh, and we want to find this payment. So that's the bit we're going to calculate. Uh, the future value we'll put back to zero because we want to get down to having paid it all off. So let's have a look at that payment there. And we get $149.67. 149 dollars. All right, I hope that's uh, clear. Definitely 
get comfortable with that financial maths package, think exactly what is the question asking, what are the values I need to put in there.